The way I'm getting this done yeah, is, right. is middle washing. It's gonna take the most time. It'll be a little bit better. Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. I am so excited about this one. We have been working on this bathroom for like <laughs> well over a month and I have been documenting the entire process. This is what we started with right here. I have done a makeover before in this guest bathroom. It was a guest bathroom then and of course over time it has expanded now into not only a guest bathroom but it's the bathroom that our kids use. So I wanted to keep it guest friendly but also wanted to keep it kid friendly. So I wanted to bring in some little um, happier elements and some textured moments make the room just feel a little bit more designed and like I spent some time on it especially for my kids both of my kids love bath time and I just wanted to make the space just just a little cuter let's just be honest so I have been taking you guys along for the entire process so let's go ahead and jump on into all of that first things first let's get these old tacky cabinet pulls off and replace them with something new. I know that these drawers are atrocious. Don't worry, I will get to that later. <laughs> Next on the agenda, Cody's going to be changing out this towel ring as well as the toilet paper holder. And fun fact, we didn't have a toilet paper holder in here since we moved in. <laughs> so this is a very good addition. Now this brings us to our new light fixture, which I think I was the most excited about this. If y'all didn't notice in the before shots, one of the sockets didn't even work. So it had a bulb in it and the bulb was not blowed. It was just the light fixture itself. So it was far time that we needed a new light fixture. And I really love this one. We had to be really particular though, as far as sizing because of how the frame around our mirror is. But I love this one. It's just so simple. It has a little bit of a farmhouse touch to it, but I feel like it leans more modern. And if you did not know, Cody is an electrician by trade, um, so he does know how to do all this. So I would not be changing out any electrical work at your house unless you know what you're doing.
We watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars, battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect So last night we were able to knock a pretty good dent out of things that needed to be done here in this bathroom. We were able to get this light done, which looks fantastic. And of course, y'all know that we've gotten the all the pools. I did all of those a few nights ago. And then I actually decided to leave this rug in here from our bathroom. I was just bringing it in here to kind of just see as far as like the size goes and how I like that kind of rug in here. But I ended up really loving it and then the rug that I bought to go in here was actually bigger and I thought that it would look a whole lot better in our master. So you have to stay tuned for that video to see all the changes in the master bathroom and see that new rug. But the big thing that's gonna take the most time is what's Cody, what Cody's doing now and that's changing out the faucet. And I think it's gonna make the biggest, the biggest impact in here. The faucets are absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Um, we already changed one in the kitchen, but we hadn't got to the ones here in the bathroom. So this is Being time these needed to be changed. So it's gonna make a huge difference so here's the reality guys of doing a What would you call it? remodel not remodeling Re Update. updating redecorating um, <laughs> Make <them. laughs> That's her little toilet, by the way. So we went to put in the faucet. It should have fit, but for whatever reason, they drilled the holes a lot no, it's, closer. It's just that, that's the, the that's old the standard. That one works better if the holes are further apart. If I think there might be one with like a six inch center or something like that that it would be better for. I didn't look at these to see what they were before we bought that. By the way, yes, that's Ellis crying in the background. <laughs> so it would be good, but apparently not because these are four inch centers. And with them pieces being separate, the, the ring around them, they wouldn't fit. Them. taking a midday bath pretty much just to keep her occupied so I can keep an eye on her and she loves being in the bathtub and I can get all of this done just a little bit of real life here But you're making me nervous. No, I've realized that I 
current decorations and stuff down so that it's um you know my space is more bare for me to be able to think about everything else um i know one piece that i have my eye on at hobby lobby so we definitely get that and there are some um pictures that i want to put up so i'm going to do that with y'all as well um but to help my brain a little bit right now because i got two different patterns going on and i feel like they're kind of competing with one another and it could just be because there's some clutter in here and once I clear all of this away it might make a little bit more sense and they might be a really fun combination so um, let's clear some of this out and figure figure this out while Mila lives her best life with her. So we are almost at the finish line here folks um, with this bathroom and I love it. I cannot tell you how many times I walk down this hallway and just stop and look in here. Um, I'm obsessed. I cannot wait for us to do our bathroom. 
so excited for that. I did get some more pieces. I also did add this yesterday. Um, this is the same greenery that was already in here, but it just needed a little updating. And I already had this black picture that I got at Home Goods, um, like two years ago or so. Spread out that greenery a little bit. Probably needs to be dusted off with a Swiffer, but you know, we'll, we'll handle that. Um, it just needed something simpler here. I wanted to bring in that pop of black over here just to you know bring some more black in now the next thing we're going to do is work on this area up here as of right now the kids um washing stuff is in this basket this basket no longer matches what we got going on so i'll be able to move this basket somewhere else now it was sitting on top of the toilet and that was great at the time you know it served its purpose but because there's so much in this basket it looks very cluttered so i wanted to get something that would match a little bit better so i definitely want to do like more of this the same this same rattan that we got going on on the new little trash can here so me and the babies went on our first little outing today with just me this is yeah it was a lot but it was it was a good a lot <laughs> but i did find another basket that's closer to that color i would have liked to have found one that had like a lid or something so i could close it and you wouldn't see it but i didn't see anything and it'll be okay. It'll be okay if you see this because it's up here now. I think it'll be a little bit better. I also got a sign to go up there as well. And if I don't like the two of them, I can always return it and figure something out. So let's go ahead and grab that stuff and figure out all of that. Here's the sign that I got for the wall. I have really started like sort of straying away from signs that have words on them but i love this okay and it's a kid's bathroom and i thought it was perfect it has like this tile looking effect to it so this one's from hobby lobby and it's with the spring stuff so it was 40 percent off right now of course it'll go to 50 and so on and so forth but it was 40 so 40 percent off of that i thought it was perfect to go up here and to bring in a little bit more of that black and white so Gotta put that up. Now something else that I wanted to go in here was a towel um bath rug kind of mat, not bath rug, bath mat. Because this rug is as big as it is and it runs over to the shower. I didn't want to put a permanent mat down because it would just it would there's be a lot on the floor. You know what I'm saying? The rug that's in here is for looks. It is not for you know drying off your feet purposes. But of course you need you need something when you get out of the shower or the tub you know for the kids so i wanted something that i could just throw across the side of the tub so that when it's not being used it's hiding behind the shower curtain and i found this lovely lovely it's got a little bit of texture to it got a good weight to it this is tommy bahama and this one's i got from marshall's it was ten dollar it'll be perfect to just throw out there when you need it and then throw it back across the tub when you don't so love that the new basket that we're going to go ahead and switch everything over to and see how that looks up there. today and I am sharing the big reveal. One thing that I realized that I never even showed y'all was the faucet. I think I was probably having to deal with one of the kids or something while Cody installed it so I didn't get any footage of that but you get to see what it looks like here and I am sure we have two more sinks to change out. So we got some faucets that we need to change in our master bathroom and I'm going to be filming all of that um, so you will get to see Cody installing a faucet before this is all said and done. So I wanted to keep things really clean and minimal in here, especially with the two competing patterns that I got going on with the rug and the shower curtain. I'm still like on the fence about that. I know I will get some kind of comment from somebody that's going to be like, change the shower curtain. Um, so <laughs> just go to, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out there. It wasn't my initial thought process to keep this rug in here, but I love it. And the more I look at it every day, I feel like I love them together. So one thing that I did not 
not get to change like I had initially wanted to was this little silver rack over here. We use this to hang towels on. I initially wanted to be able to take it down and spray paint it, but my husband said that that's not possible. I guess the way that it was placed from the previous owners or whoever put it up there, I have no idea what they thought for it. screw heads, you can't get the screw heads out. There you go, strip screw heads. <laughs> We got some back backstage commentary. Um, you can still paint it in place. You just have to wrap everything up. Yeah, I bought spray paint, and spray painting inside was not my idea. That's not that was not the ideal situation. I wanted to be able to take it outside, um, tape off the little white spots, and leave them white, and just make everything matte black. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to be able to remove it, so we would have to cover everything around it and then spray paint it or possibly paint it by hand. Let me know down below in the comments if you think I should commit to really painting it. Does it really make that big of a difference? Should I paint it matte black? Let me know. I love the way it turned out. Um, we have had my mama and my aunt come over and they have done nothing but speak highly of the bathroom. It looks like a totally different space and it feels like a different space. I really love it. I feel like we use the bathroom in here way more. Um, in case y'all didn't know, we did install a new toilet <laughs> while I was pregnant. So this room is technically like a whole new room. So it definitely does feel new to us. And I know that when it comes time to sell, I think it'll be a really good selling point. Bathrooms and kitchens are what sell homes. I am excited about this and I'm really excited for our master bathroom. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe. Also hit the like button, comment down below if you're excited about it. I'm very excited because if you've seen our bathroom before, you know it's this teal aqua color and almost pretty much the color of my earrings. I know a lot of you have been kind of pleading with me to paint it and I have put it off and put it off, but I know that will be a big selling point when the time comes. So we're doing it. And for the time being, it'll be much more of a tranquil spot for us while we're still here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure, like I said, to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you got somebody that you know that's making over a space and you wanna share some ideas with them, you can just send this video on over to them and hopefully I'll be able to help them in some kind of way. I will make sure to link anything that I have purchased for this room. If I can link it, I will link it down below in the description box so it'll be easy for you to find. And I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.